Rizal 101 General Education Question. In which city did Rizal publish Noli Mitanghere? Is it A. Ghent, B. Berlin, C. Manila, or D. Paris? I'll give you five seconds to finalize your answer. Time's up. Now, let's rationalize the question. Now, based on the question, ang clue natin dito is city kung saan na-publish ang Noli Mitanghere. Now, when we say Noli Mitanghere, ito yung first novel ni Jose Rizal. Ang ibig sabihin is, touch me not. And Jose Rizal wrote the first sections of his novel, Noli Mitanghere, in year 1884 sa Madrid, Spain when he was still studying medicine. Pero, year 1887 pa na-publish pa na ang Noli Mitanghere or ang first edition nito sa Berlin, Germany. And, to express his gratitude, he gave the original manuscript to Maximo Viola. Si Maximo Viola, important yan siya. I remember yan siya because siya ang kinukonsidera as the savior of Noli Mitanghere. Bakit savior si Maximo Viola? Because siya ang nag-finance ng printing cost ng Noli Mitanghere. Now, balik tayo sa question. Correct answer is we have B. Berlin, Germany. Rizal 101, General Education Question. The novel written by Rizal, which was first published in 1891 in Ghent, Belgium, translated as The Reign of Greed or the Subversion was blank. Is it A. A La Juventud Filipina, B. Noli Mitanghere, C. El Filibusterismo, or D. Mi Ultimo Dios? I'll give you five seconds to finalize your answer. Time's up. Now, let's rationalize the question. Now, base sa question, medyo madali na lang natin itong masasagutan. It's because marami na ang clues na nakastipulate sa STEM. Nandiyan na ang word na novel and ang location kung saan na-publish ang Ghent, Belgium and also ang translation na niya in English na The Reign of Greed or The Subversion. Now, automatically, we need to cancel A and D because ang Ala Juventud Filipina to the Filipino youth and ang Mi Ultimo Adios or ang My Last Farewell, hindi po sila mga novela, hindi sila novel. Yan po ay mga poem. Kasi when we say novel, it is relatively a long work of narrative fiction typically written in prose and published as a book. So, cancel. Now, we only have two options left. Ang B, no limitang hire, at saka ang C, na El Filibusterismo. Now, pag ang clue natin is, na publish sa Ghent, Belgium, sagot natin is, we have C, El Filibusterismo. It's because ang Nolimitang Hire na published yan siya sa Berlin, Germany. So again, guys, ha? Reminder sa magte-take ng board exam this Sunday, always remember na pag ang nakasulat sa question is na published na novel na Rizal sa Berlin, Germany, sagot natin is Nolimitang Hire or Tangere. Pero pag ang nakastipulate is na published sa Ghent, Belgium, sagot natin is El Filibusterismo. So guys, God bless and congratulations in advance. Rizal 101, General Education Question. Noli Mitanghere is to Berlin. El Filibusterismo is to blank. Is it A. Ghent, B. Madrid, C. Manila, or D. Paris? I'll give you five seconds to finalize your answer. Or if you want, you can just simply pause the video. Time's up. Now let's check if your answer is correct. Now, based sa question, ito siya is an analogy. Ang Nolimitang Hereraw ay na-publish sa Berlin, Germany. Ang El Filibusterismo, saan siya na-publish? Okay, so ang El Filibusterismo, na-print ito siya September 18, 1891. And paki-remember, ang other tawag sa El Filibusterismo is the reign of greed. So pag may question sa board exam, ano yung novel ni Jose Rizal na ang ibig sabihin is the reign of greed, sagot natin is El Filibusterismo. Pero pag ang nakasulat, touch me not, that is no limitang hire. And Another important thing about El Filibusterismo, ito yung novel ni Jose Rizal na dedicated sa three executed priests na Gumburza, Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora. And lumabas din ito sa board exam before, pag ang question ano yung novel ni Rizal na dedicated sa Gumburza, sagot is El Filibusterismo. And balik tayo sa question, ang El Filibusterismo ay na-print sa Ghent, 
Belgium. Again, no limitangere, Berlin, Germany. El filibusterismo is to Ghent, Belgium. History 101, Philippine Presidents. Who was the President of the Philippines who advocated Filipino first policy? Is it A. Carlos Garcia, B. Justado Macapagal, C. Manuel Rojas, or D. Ramon Magsaysay? I'll give you 5 seconds to finalize your answer. Time's up. Now let's rationalize the question. Now based on the question, ang clue natin dito is Filipino first policy. Now, ano pala yung Filipino first policy? So when we say Filipino first policy, under this policy, Filipino-owned business is prioritized over its foreign counterparts and the patronizing of Filipino-made products by Filipino. So yan yung Filipino first policy. Now, sino ang nag-implement ng Filipino first policy? Now, pag ang sagot natin is Ramon Magsaysay, that is wrong. Kasi pag si Ramon Magsaysay, siya ang Philippine president, not Sikat sa tawag na Man of the Masses. And si Ramon Magsaysay din ang first Philippine president na nag ng Barong Tagalog sa kanyang inauguration as the President of the Philippines. Nga lang, si Ramon Magsaysay is namatay po siya because of a fatal airplane crash. Next, mali din ang sagot na si Manuel Rojas. Because si Manuel Rojas, siya ang first natin na president sa Third Philippine Republic and siya ang nag-sign sa Parity Rights and sa Bell Trade Act. Now, we only have two options left, Carlos Garcia and Just Dado Makapagal. Mali po ang sagot na Just Dado Makapagal. Kasi when we say Just Dado Makapagal, siya ang president na nag-move or nag-change ng celebration ng Independence Day from July 4 to June 12. So, pag Filipino first policy, ang isagot po natin is si Carlos Garcia. And aside sa Filipino first policy, sikat din si Carlos Garcia sa austerity program. History 101 which is a part of the lyrics of the electoral jingle of then-President Ramon Magsaysay? Is it A. To whom it may deserve? B. Our democracy will die? C. Filipinos are great leaders? Or D. For whom the bell tolls? I'll give you 5 seconds to finalize your answer. Time's up. Now let's rationalize the question. Now for this question, ang clue natin is electoral jingle ni President Ramon Magsaysay. And hahanapin natin sa apat na options kung saan dito sa kanila ang nasa lyrics ng kanyang electoral jingle. Now, si Ramon Magsaysay, siya ang president ng Philippines na known as Man of the Masses. Aside from that, siya din ang president na Pilipinas na unang nagsuot ng barong Tagalog sa kanyang inauguration as the president of the Philippines. However, However, the sad thing is, si Ramon Magsaysay, hindi niya na-finish ang kanyang term because namatay siya in a fatal airplane crash in Mount Manunggal sa Cebu. Now, let's hear the jingle of Ramon Magsaysay. Now, based on the jungle, mali po ang A, to whom it may deserve. Next, mali rin ang Charlie, Filipinos are great leaders. Ang correct answer is, we have B, our democracy will die. So again, pag jungle ni Ramon Magsaysay, ang lyrics kasali dyan ang, our democracy will die. Science 101 General Education Question Which is the correct sequence of the stages of mitosis? A. Telophase, anaphase, metaphase, prophase B. Metaphase, anaphase, telophase, prophase C. Anaphase, prophase, metaphase, telophase Or D. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase I'll give you 5 seconds to finalize your answer or if you want, you can just simply pause the video. Time's up. Now let's check if your answer is correct. Now for this question, ang clue natin is 
correct sequence of the stages of mitosis. Now, ano pala yung mitosis? When we say mitosis, it is a type of cell division. It is a process where a single cell divides into two identical daughter cells. And for this question, kailangan may mnemonics tayo kasi nga diba sequence. Remember, sa mga previous natin na video, in-include ko ang discussion when it comes to mnemonics. When we say mnemonics, ito yung ating memory device or yung learning technique natin na nakaka-help sa atin para mas madali nating ma-remember or ma-retrieve yung important na mga information. Example, Roy G. Beef, para ma-remember natin yung colors ng rainbow. Now, for this question, ang mnemonics natin is P mat. It's P M A T. Now hanapin natin sa option saan dito ang P mat. Of course, mali ang A kasi T ang nauna. Mali ang B kasi M. Mali ang C because A. Remember P mat. So the correct answer for this is delta or D prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Again, for the sequence or for the correct sequence of the stages of mitosis, remember the mnemonics P mat. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. History 101, general education question. The use of Spanish surnames by Filipinos was implemented by, is it A, Narciso Claveria, B, Ramon Blanco, C, Diego de los Rios, or D, Basilio Agustin? I'll give you five seconds to finalize your answer, or if you want, you can just simply pause the video. Time's up. Now, let's rationalize the question. Now, guys, for this question, alam nyo ba na palagi itong bumabalik sa board exam? That's the reason why, kapag lalabas ito this Sunday, please make sure na tama ang sagot nyo. Now, ang clue natin dito is use of Spanish surnames by Filipinos. Ibig sabihin, sino na Governor General galing sa mga Espanyol or galing sa Spain ang nagbigay sa atin ng mga Spanish na mga apelido. Example, Garcia, we have De Leon, Concepcion, Guzman, Chavez, ano pa, Beltran, and even Ibanez. Marami sa mga Filipino, ang kanilang surname, ang kanilang mga apelido is pang Espanyol. Sino ang responsible dyan? Now, for this question, ang correct answer is we have a. Narciso Claveria. So again ha, pag-use of Spanish surnames by Filipinos, ang responsible is Narciso Claveria. Now what if, balik ta rin yung question. What if ang question is, ano yung contribution ni Narciso Claveria sa Pilipinas? Ang isagot natin is, siya ang responsible for giving Filipinos Spanish surnames. And another thing, tingnan ang letter C. Ang C na Diego de los Rios, lumalabas din ito sa board exam. Ano yung question? Ang question is, sino ang last governor general in the Philippines? Again, last governor general in the Philippines, answer po natin is Diego de los Rios. Okay? So, God bless and congratulations in advance.